What is going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack, back at you again with another video. Today, we are here for part two of my top 15 sneaker pickups of 2020. Today, we're going to go through numbers 10 through 6. But before we get into that, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos and you like the content that you're watching and would like to come back, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video here on this YouTube channel. We're on the charge of 2K subscribers. I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me since day one. It's greatly appreciated. I thank you wholeheartedly. Now get it into the countdown. Let's roll with number 10. And at number 10, we have the five red fours. This is an OG shoe. Mike actually wore this sneaker. This was the first time this sneaker retro in OG form since 1989 when it originally came out. It came out a couple different variations. We had the John Jumpman on the back. We had the Spike Lee face right here. But to come out this way since 89, Nike Air on the back. First time since I was a kid back in 89. I did not have these in 89, so I was sure to get these when they re when they retro. And of course it was a must that I doubled up. It has some pretty good leather on here too. So here's your number 10 pickup, the five red four. Here's the number nine pickup. The Jordan 1 Royal 2. This release was like right around when the pandemic first started so i'm not sure how many people actually got their hands on these but look at the leather quality right here in the toe box y'all saw the review these very clean cut sneaker they use some real good materials on here the raw your tool ones how could you go wrong I kind of wish I would have doubled up on these. I had the opportunity, but I passed. Money just wasn't right at the time, but I managed to get in one pair. So here we go. The Royal Two Ones. This is number nine. Here's number eight. The Flint 13s. This is another OG sneaker. We were happy at Retro. I didn't have it the first time around, but I made sure to get it this time. I was able to double up on these as well. I mean, nice clean cut sneaker. Very nice detail. Only thing we're missing is the 3M action. No, actually, I think these are 3M. Yes, these are 3M. So it comes with everything. You got the 3M action going on. The, the flint gray, the blue. I mean, what's not to love about these? The Flint 13s. This is the number eight sneaker on the countdown. Number seven. Veneer Dunks. Yes, Dunks made a comeback this year. Dunks were very popular this year. But this Veneer Dunk is very nice. Got the Veneer Brown with the green and the purple going on. You got the one set of laces. I was able to double up on these, and thank goodness I did because I was able to uh, sell it to get another sneaker I wanted in my collection that I struck out on. So, yes, the veneer dunks. Look at them. This was part of the Ugly Duckling Pack, the retro that this year. The Ugly Duckling Pack came out. In Japan, like in 2000, 2001 time frame. So this veneer donk was part of that collection. Check it out. Number seven on my countdown. The veneer donk. Number six. The UNC3. This release when back when outside was still open. I'm not sure if you guys remember that. When outside was still open. These release, 
the numbers, I'm not sure the numbers were really high on these because I didn't see a lot of pair of these out there. I was able to double up on this sneaker as well. And both of them are dead stock. I got to put these feet to ground, guys. Jordan Jump, man, he gave me some weight with age on this pair, but it's still a clean sneaker. This UNC3 is fire. It's about the closest we will get to UNC PE. So here's the number six sneaker on my countdown, the UNC3. Okay, guys, that wraps up today's countdown, numbers 10 through 6. Tell me what y'all think of these sneakers. Were you able to cop those? Are you feeling them? Or you're not feeling them? Um, make sure you turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified when the countdown continues on tomorrow. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'd like to thank all the day one guys that have been rocking with me and everybody that's been watching the videos as we on our charge to 2K subs. I really appreciate you guys coming back. And before I go, like I always tell y'all, if y'all can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.